let's talk about a technique that I, and I'm sorry, my attention deficit is really, really going on today. So um, let's talk about a technique that both is dear to my heart, but I don't use nearly enough. What is it? The back fist. So the back fist is a pretty good alternative to either of your straight punches if you use it correctly. Um, it's tricky, it's sneaky, you can't really use it um, in boxing or kickboxing, uh, depending on the rule set. A lot of them, I know boxing for sure has a rule against using the back of the hand. Uh, sometimes people get away with it, but you're not supposed to. The other thing is on a boxing glove, uh, most of the padding's up here around the knuckles, but there is still a lot of padding on the back of the glove. Um, and the back fist has a lot of surface area. So you're losing that um, force per square inch, that minimal impact point. Uh, so you need to make it hurt as much as possible. Now the other thing with a back fist is it's not as strong as a direct straight punch, right? Because I'm chopping out from my elbow. So to do a back fist, I have to point with my elbow and then extend. Um, couple downsides to this. If you don't hit your target and you don't have good control, you may hyperextend your elbow because you are chopping out. Um, it's very easy to do, especially if you're trying to actually hurt someone, um, so you have some power behind it. Boom. Um, downside to it also, it leaves your body open. So when I punch straight, my elbow's in the whole time until at the end, so this blocks some body shots. At least it has the potential to stop a body shot, I should say. If I throw a back fist and my elbow comes up first, this is all wide and open. Easy realty. But, it's a good thing to throw somebody off. If they've got the timing of your straights down and they're doing a good clap block or parry to your straight punches all the time, this comes from the side and smacks them on the side of the face, but it's not a hook. It looks a lot like a straight punch if I do it fast enough, right? Jab, back fist. Jab, back fist. It still kind of appears to be coming down the center and then they get clocked on the side of the face. It's not super strong, just the back fist on its own most likely is not gonna knock somebody out, but it is gonna catch them off guard and get them more concerned, get them more active with their blocking, get them biting on your feints a little bit more. Um, and then you get other opportunities. For example, if that's starting up, their blocks start to fail here, and that's all I've been going for. I catch them with the back fist, they start worrying about the side of their head, and then I could do something like feign a back fist, land a cross, they might block it, and then their body's open. Um, everything's all about creating options, so there's an endless world of opportunity on how to set up techniques and how one technique flows into the other. Just know that this technique in particular, I believe, has potential to open up a lot of other techniques, and that's why I like it. But why I don't use it a lot is I usually train with boxing gloves on anymore, and uh, mostly that's to protect my hand. That's also because a lot of people I've been training with right now are primarily boxers, so they don't use the smaller gloves, the MMA, the karate, any of those kind of gloves. So um, it makes it hard to make a back fist effective. Now, granted, we're sparring, so not everything's super powerful, but even still, the glove, each glove, I wear 16-ounce gloves, that means each one's a pound. It's an added pound to my fist, that's an added pound of slowing it down. So it's not as fast, uh, which means it's harder to pull off. The back fist has to be fast. I can't, it's not going to work, because the whole point of it is making it look like a straight punch, and then it's not. So if it's too slow, that gives them that time to react to it and block, and it's not going through a guard. It's just not. 
it's it's not how the technique is designed to work. It's designed to be snappy and catch them off guard. So, um, anyway, that's the back fist. You lead with your elbow and extend out. I still want to keep my shoulder up. I want to try to keep my hand vertical. I can turn it sideways and land. That one has a little more power to it. It's slower. That one's called a hammer fist. We'll cover that later because there's a couple different variations of that. Anyway, it's snappy. Boom. Now, if you want some power into it, you can turn it into a spinning back, back fist, but we're not quite to spinning techniques yet, so we'll talk about that in a later video as well. Try out the back fist. It's fun. You can add it into combos. Um, one thing I like to do is use it to disguise a cross. Boom. Um, but that's me. Each person has their own style, their own uses for it. So play with it. And if anything, it looks really cool to do it in shadow boxing, right? Boom, boom, boom. I like it. It gives me that old school kung fu vibe when I use it. But I don't use it in sparring and actual competition that often. So, anyway, I will see you guys next video. Peace.